Now let's talk about Devon AI, this amazing software engineer who is powered by AI and people have been talking about it for the past couple of weeks. Well, the internet is just obsessed by Devon AI, Devon AI, Devon AI. I keep saying Devon AI, but anyway, so in this video, I'm going to give you my insights on Devon AI. And by the end of this video, I'm also going to give you the strategy for you to bulletproof yourself when it comes to the tech world. So stay tuned. Devon AI. So what is Devon AI? Well, Devon AI is an AI who is a software engineer. So this was announced a few weeks ago, I believe. And if you go to Google and look for Devon AI, you will most likely end up here. So this is the website called Cognition Labs. That is the company that created Devon AI. Now, one thing you will notice here right away is that at the top, it says here, we've raised a 20 million series A led by Founders Fund. This should tell you right away that this is indeed a company. It's a business that is taking advantage, of course, of this AI revolution. Everybody is, and that is totally fine. And so you have to also start to think about regardless of all the fear that is coming around or with Devon AI, in a sense that it's going to take our jobs as developers, as coders, you have to understand that these companies, these people are very smart in so many ways. Obviously, they're so smart to where they can build such to think, which is an amazing thing. But at the same time, you have to understand that this is a business, right? They're taking advantage of a wave. And so be wary of that. And the thing about it is that all of a sudden, I would say all of a sudden for us, we were just flooded with Devon AI, Devon AI, Devon AI. And so, yeah, they did a good marketing. So that should tell you something. So if you scroll down, of course, there's a video of the founder, Scott Wu. And by the way, Scott Wu is a very smart, smart, smart person person. In fact, he was a child genius. So you could solve mathematical problems in milliseconds. So you can Google that and see. And the thing about this company is that it's him and his brother and about eight other geniuses who could solve this very complex mathematical problems. And so these are very smart people and that is wonderful. So they've built something that is useful, but is that going to take away our jobs as developers? Let's see. So if you go to their website, of course, he's introducing um, Devin, the first AI software engineer, it says here, Devin is a tireless skilled teammate equally ready to build alongside you or independently complete tasks for you to review. Now, I like this part. It says, he's going to build stuff alongside with you that tells you something that they understand that software development it's not an easy thing to tackle yes ai is growing ai is becoming more powerful all these large language models are becoming more powerful uh, learn faster are able to do things that never seen before but also software engineer is very difficult it's not just about writing code but it's about many many other things so the fact that they say here equally ready to build alongside you or independently complete task for you to review. I love that. This is honesty. This is what we call honesty. They're not pushing the idea that it's going to take over the job, which we'll see. With Devon, engineers can focus on more interesting problems and engineering teams can strive for more ambitious goals. There we go. There we go. I like that. They talk about then Devon's capability, what it can do, and they also have uh, some videos showcasing what Devon can do. Devon can learn how to use unfamiliar technology. So the whole idea of Devon, the AI software engineer, is that Devon is able to go scour the internet and find the documentation for the task that you are asking it to do. Let's say you wanted to build a tic-tac-toe. Devon is given a task and Devon is able to go through a loop of finding all of this documentation, all of these pieces of codes and assemble all together. And then if there's an error, Devin is able to correct himself until comes up with the correct answer or the application build. And they have all these things here, these videos uh, that Devin can deploy apps, right? Devin can autonomously find and fix bugs in code bases. So what they did is they, I believe they went ahead and unleashed Devin into GitHub to go and solve find bugs and fix them and did it pretty well. But the idea is their metrics are a little bit interesting in a sense that if you were to look at them, you realize that it just was able to solve very small percentage, which is impressive. But that doesn't tell you that you're going to lose your job as a software developer because Devin is going to take over. I, I don't think so. Again, it's getting better. It's a great thing because we are technologists. 
we like tech, so this is something to celebrate, not to be feared. Devon can train and fine tune its own AI models. That's wonderful. Contributed to mature production repositories. Hmm, what does that mean? It says here Devon solves a bug with logarithm calculations in the SumPy Python algebra system. Devon sets up the code environment, reproduces the bug and code, and codes and tests the fix on its own. Okay, so there's a video of Mr. Wu's brother there doing all this great stuff. So it's pretty good. And they talk about the performance and all the things they have here. And they have the percentage that say it resolves 13.86% of the issues, you know, when they unleash it to GitHub to go and solve issues with code bases and so forth. So and they have very nice uh, graph here that shows exactly what's happening. Um, in comparison to other AI, essentially, like Claude 2 and all of these. So I do welcome technology, and I think you should also, but you have to be a little bit careful. AI is an amazing thing. It's an amazing tool for us to use. Devon is pretty impressive, obviously, and it was built or is still being built by about 10 to 11, the most smart, the smartest people, geniuses in the world. These are math kids who were absolutely amazing. Their, their brain power is out of this world. That's wonderful. Now, is Devon at this point smarter than an actual programmer? The question you have to ask yourself is as follows. Do you think that these guys would let Devon actually write their own code? That's a good question. Do you think that companies will actually drop all of their developers to say, okay, Devon is around and so now we're going to just get rid of all developers and we're going to use Devon to you know, take care of our production code. I don't think so. I don't think so. At least where things are right now, it's just it's just not wise. If you were to do that, then you will be in big trouble. And so big companies know this and they're not going to do that anytime soon. They may use Devin as he continues to get better to be a coding buddy, just like all of these other AI tools that we have now that helps developers to be better developers, to be more efficient at what they do. And that is what you need to focus on. Now, the question is, is this really going to take our jobs as developers? Are we going to be obsolete as developers? Is it worth for you to continue this journey of learning to code or continue to sharpen this coding skills? Well, in my opinion, yes, it's very, very, very important that you continue on this journey. Because remember, software development coding is not just about code. The difference between Devon and you and us it's, it's a very subtle difference. So the difference here is that Devon is an AI tool. So what is an AI tool? Well, an AI tool is powered by a large language model. Now, these large language models are getting smarter and smarter because they're getting more efficient and so forth. But I don't believe that Devon is going to take your jobs away. This is why when it comes to software development, as I said, it's not just about coding. It's about understanding the needs of people. And so software doesn't really understand the needs of the people. The people understand the needs of people and they build software to help with that. So that's what you need to think about, okay? Now, I'm not saying that things may not change at some point, but it's not, it's a little bit counterintuitive in so many ways to think that an AI can completely wipe out developers because actually you need developers to build the software even the ii well it's actually built by developers so there you have it so what i would suggest you do is don't fear change change is good there are some things that that will change the way you perceive the way you go about in the software development world in the coding world what i would suggest you do is that number one do not fear devon but embrace devon devon is going to be around for a while which by the way if these guys are saying they have raised 21 million. Think about it. There are going to be many other companies already that are going to do the same thing. They're going to name something else, maybe Paulito or Paul. I think maybe, who knows, maybe I am. Ooh, that'd be cool. Paolo, the AI software engineer. But I won't take your jobs away. That's for sure. So don't fear it, embrace it and be aware of it and continue on your journey. Now, here is my strategy for you to be able to bulletproof yourself when it comes to tech. The one thing you have to realize, number one, is that you're human. The beauty about being human is that you are able to solve problems. Why? because you're able to sense the world differently than any AI. You see, we have all these sensors, our skin, from our olfactory vision, for a reason. So we're able to sense the world. We're able to recognize problems. We're able to 
um, adapt. And so that is the advantage that we have over any AI. You have to think about that. So Devon could be fast to do calculations because computers do. That is totally fine. That is exactly why they were designed. But you, you are the person in charge. So use technology to help you be better. Devon cannot feel things that you and I feel. Devon cannot tell whether I'm really sad or I'm really happy. Of course, there is face recognition and all the things that happens, but really there's no connection. It's still a machine. You are human. You can learn things. Now, we are slower than computers, that's true, but we have this advantage that we're humans, we can actually feel what's going on. We can find problems. We can actually solve real problems. Here's what you need to do. Continue on your journey of learning software development. Don't get discouraged because Devin, honestly, he's not here to take your jobs away. I don't believe that, truly don't believe that. So you are in control in so many ways. Use Devin. When I say Devin, I'm talking about AI in general as your friend to help you get to where you wanna get, right? So don't be afraid, continue to sharpen your coding skills. Speaking of coding skills, if you want a community that is tight, that has all the tools that you need to continue learning coding, or if you are starting coding, I started a new community of like-minded people where you not only will you have all the courses, but you also have, again, the community because coding is not a solo endeavor. It's nice to learn to code, sharpen your coding skills with a group of people. So if you're really interested in getting better at coding, or if you're starting coding, then this community that I started is the place for you link in the description. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time.